Secondary Bacterial Peritonitis Overview Secondary bacterial peritonitis is a serious condition requiring prompt recognition and intervention. It stems from bacterial infection of the peritoneum due to an intra-abdominal source, often necessitating surgical treatment. Definition Secondary bacterial peritonitis involves inflammation of the peritoneum caused by a bacterial infection that originates from an intra-abdominal source requiring surgical intervention. Etiology Secondary bacterial peritonitis can arise from various causes, including perforation of an intra-abdominal viscous, such as peptic ulcer, bacterial translocation resulting from abdominal organ inflammation, like appendicitis or diverticulitis, trauma, or iatrogenic sources, such as post-surgical complications. Escherichia coli and bacteroides are the most common organisms. Clinical features. In secondary bacterial peritonitis, patients typically present with a constellation of symptoms and signs indicative of intra-abdominal inflammation and infection. Symptoms commonly include abdominal pain or tenderness, gastrointestinal symptoms like nausea and vomiting, and signs of infection such as fever and shock. Peritoneal signs include rigidity, rebound tenderness, and guarding indicating severe inflammation. Diagnosis Diagnosing secondary bacterial peritonitis involves a combination of clinical assessment, peritoneal fluid analysis, and imaging studies. Peritoneal fluid analysis is a key indicator that includes neutrophil count greater than or equal to 250 per cubic millimeter, positive bacterial culture, and specific chemistries such as protein, lactate dehydrogenase, and glucose levels. Imaging studies such as CT scans with intravenous contrast are preferred for detailed assessment. An X-ray may reveal free air in the abdominal cavity, which can indicate viscous organ perforation. Management Approach Immediate Empiric Antibiotic Therapy Initiate broad-spectrum antibiotics promptly. Selection of antibiotics should cover the likely pathogens involved in intra-abdominal infections. The regimen can be adjusted based on culture results and local antibiotic resistance patterns. Surgical Consultation An urgent surgical evaluation is necessary to determine the need for an emergency laparotomy to address the source of infection, such as repairing a perforation or draining an abscess. Supportive Care Intravenous fluids, administered to support blood pressure and renal function. Electrolyte repletion, correct any electrolyte imbalances present. Analgesics, carefully selected for pain management to avoid masking symptoms. Antipyretics, administered for fever management. Venous thromboembolism prophylaxis, implemented to prevent venous thromboembolism in immobilized patients. Surgical Management Surgical intervention is often required to directly address the source of infection, such as by repairing a perforated viscous or removing infected tissue. The approach depends on the underlying cause and the patient's condition. That's all for the video. We'll see you next time.